Hello, hello. Welcome back to another tr packet tracer exercise in which we will be implementing port security on our switch. We have two parts here. This is associated with packet tracer 11.1.10, implement port security. So let's jump right into it. We have all the instructions right here for part one where we're going to be actually configuring the port security. So here we have switch one. Bring over our little command line interface. Enable config T. And it tells us that we want int range F0 to F2. All right. This is where we're going to be implementing port security based upon the MAC address of the connected. And so we're going to be using the rogue laptop here in a little bit to show that everything can get restricted and uh, what doesn't get restricted. So switch port, port security. All right, switch port, port security, maximum one to limit the amount of devices that can access it. And then we are going to make it so that the MAC address of a device is dynamically learned. And so we do that with port security MAC address sticky. And then we'll set the violation mode there in part D, switch port port security, spell it correctly, port security violation restrict. Next, we are going to shut down the other interfaces so that they are restricted and say shut down. All right, there we go. We got it all shut down. Now we're gonna be able to exit back out to show that each of them have been shut down. So we have our fast ethernets 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2. We've configured all those with the MAC address sticky and the restriction and all the rest, as you can see, are shut down here. Now we're joining uh, step two, where we are going to also tells us that we want to show port security um, which shows that these are restricted uh, same thing with address and we see those count one count one all right now we're going to be actually attaching this rogue laptop the uh, way to do that um, is go down to our little connection here go to our copper straight through uh, fast Ethernet 0. I am going to choose 3 just so that I remember. Now because it's restricted we see that it's red here and we have shut down that so we know that that nothing's getting through there right now. Now we gotta go and we are going to show that we can um, we're gonna open up that so that we can show that we can ping um, let's see, so we're enabling on F0 slash 3, and to do th that, we do no shut. Now we should be able to ping from our rogue device. And we have up here that PC1 is 10.10.10.10. All right. And we did receive replies from our rogue laptop from there. So we are now doing PC2. All right. We are good there. So now it tells us we're going to delete that connection. We're going to shut down that security interface. And we're re going to reconnect the rogue laptop. All right, so to do that, we are going to delete this connection, uh, delete that connection. All right, 
and we want to go in there and we are going to go in and go back and shut down all right and you can see right now we are at 100 percent that is all that was required to us but they do ask us to go in and try this configuration where we have the rogue laptop on uh, interface f0 slash 2 see if we can't ping the pc1 based upon our restricted mac addressing so let's do that again ping 10.10.10.10 and as you can see since we restricted our MAC address or port addresses um, we're not able to get there and we are timed out and we can go and check that and verify that by taking a look at our port security so we're going to show port security f0 slash 2 and we have uh, all of our information here uh, restrict uh, enabled and we have the sticky addresses and so forth so thank you for joining have a good one